You need good attack strategies in Builder Base 2.0, so let's teach you some of the best with maxed Builder Hall 10 gameplay, as the more stars you get, the better loot rewards. The Electro Fire Wizard is the new troop, so let's utilize that first. I did give you a full in-depth breakdown yesterday, which I will link you to at the end. First base. It doesn't look like there's anything we can snipe with the Electro Fire Wizards. A trick I like to use, though, is Giants to Tank. Wait until you see it. I will be bringing you a lot more guide videos for Builder Base, and we only have a small percentage of viewers subscribed to the channel, so if you'd like to see those, I would recommend subscribing. Although there is a ground expo, I think we should continue with a ground push. So maybe the cannon carts always deals high damage behind your tank troops, and then just a bomber to get us into the base. Giant, wizard, swap to electric. Giant, wizard, swap to electric. It feels like a big commitment, but if you can tank defenses and enable your electro wizards if you can get effective chaining with that it is so worth it giant on the left is taking a lot of damage so let's reinforce with the battle machine and the cannon cart i don't really need the bomber we're pretty much through the wall and if i can save onto the bomber any unused army camps you can then switch in the second stage since you can't scout the second stage it allows you to be flexible wizards i should swap to fire mode they're a lot slower in electric so once they have tanking you should just use fire battle machine ability just hit level three so let's use that to try and get through the guard post troops and the wall because if I can protect some of these troops, surviving troops will get healing thanks to the healing hut and that's going to be even more helpful in the second stage. This worked out great. I can't believe that both wizards survived and that's how effective it can be using electric to funnel and then fire behind the tank. Stage two, my troops got healing. The battle machine ability automatically went off but it's not full HP. I can swap to the battle copter and this will be full health. Maybe I could use that up top. I do need something to scout for Tesla though, so I think some minions could be good there. Help with that arch tower. Cannon card, I can try and outrange the defenses on the bottom. One of those cannons. And although the firecrackers are good versus baby dragons, there's not a lot of other air coverage in that area, and we should be able to use the sneeze effect to take that down pretty quick. Let's go one minion here in order to test. Looking good, so we'll go with the battle copter. And I think one more minion to help support the battle copter. Then let's try with the cannon card. Here we go. The cannon mode is faster, so if it's out of range of defenses, let it use that first. We should be able to get the healing hut, and then we need to let it move in and switch to mortar mode to get the double cannon. Oh, there was a push trap, but it just, for some reason, it didn't spring the cannon cart. That's where the cannon cart looks good, but you have to be careful. It is very vulnerable to traps. Okay, I think we should start with the baby dragons here. One, two. As soon as it gets to the firecrackers, use the sneeze ability because, oh gosh, that one's going off to the side. Oh, because the cannon cart funneled the building. No, that's not what we needed. Uh, we swapped the cannon cart. Thankfully, that one survived that. Uh, lava launcher is in range of it. Let's go with, I think the electric wizards might be able to help with the zappies underneath the auto hut. Then let's go with minions, I think, on this side. Battle copter ability can splash to nearby defenses. So it was good to use it there in order to help get the roaster. That was closer than it needed to be. But I want to show you a mass strategy next, which is now viable in the new builder base and remember every attack you are able to get loot from you might have used hog gliders and the super pecker in builder base one i'll give you some tips for the power pecker after this attack but a strategy i love to use in builder base two is the mass hog riders because the villagers are smaller there's not as many defenses they can be very effective you do have to be careful of guard post troops so let's use my battle machine to take those out and then if it gets in towards the crusher we'll be good from that point. Maybe just one hog rider onto the crusher to stun it just as the battle machine is about to get there. The expo is set to air mode, so it cannot fire at my ground troops. That's the difference in the expo than the home village. I think it was late on my hog glider, but it'll stun it for the next time. And let's continue sending everything around. Battle machine ability goes off. Now the air expo can actually hit my hog gliders as they move in. But now that we can directly target it, we can just continue to stun it. That's the beauty of the hog rider is if you can tank with your battle machine, you can then stun the defenses on the outside. The hog riders can then absolutely annihilate them. But a key point is that they lose their stun.
stun effect for the second attack. Because remember, abilities transfer over to the second stage, but any passive abilities, which includes the Hog Rider stun, the Barbarian Rage, the Sneaky Archer Cloak, they are tied to individual troops. So the Hog Riders get healing, it is helpful, but then I need to have more Hog Riders in order to stun the next defenses. Battle Machine again, not full HP, but actually looking at the top of the base here, I think we could probably take the Crusher down and that is the Crusher and the Mortar is the main thing. Then we need to be careful with the Hog Gliders and I'll explain why in a moment, but let's get that back. Oh, let's send a Hog Rider in. Maybe that wasn't the best move because the Battle Copter is going to be safe after this, but here is the key. The Battle Copter has an extremely long range, so let it do its work. Even if it gets to the level 3 ability, it will charge forward and then potentially be in range of defenses. So I don't want to charge it into the firecrackers. I need my hog riders to get those firecrackers, but I actually need my hog gliders to stun the ground defenses in order to enable my hog riders to get those. So it's kind of a blend between the two. Once this crusher goes down, I think we should be good to stun the cannon. Get to, oh, oh no, I sent all my hog gliders. Oh, I meant to switch to hog riders. We should still be good. Let's actually just continue with hog riders. And I think I will stun the cannon on the bottom here. Send a couple of regular hogs to the archer tower since it is targeting at the others. Should have used the battle copter ability on the zappies. Oh no, that is a huge, huge mistake there. But maybe we're still going to be good due to the amount of hog riders. Even though there's fewer troops, it can still get complicated. Whenever you have the battle copter ability, use it as you're about to take down Otto's outpost because it can one shot all of the zappies if you have it max level. But look at all of the hog riders left over. Such a good strategy. I love it. The better your attacks, the better your reward, and your star bonus is also going to be where you get huge loot. The newly renamed Power Pecker allows you to trigger the ability now, which is very effective if you can easily path to major defenses, such as the crushers here. At the other side of the base, there's not a lot of damage, and we might be able to get into the multi-mortar pretty easily by funneling the outside with, I think, some barbarians. You don't get as many of them, but they're very strong now, and we need a bomber to obviously enable our battle machine to get in. Then I think we should just take more Pekka for each side. They're strong enough that they can solo areas of the base. And it's great that I'm able to teach you these strategies at max level from the dev build. Hopefully it'll get you started at Builder Hall 10, but it does take some practice. Barbarian, one for each of the army camps. Battle machine, bomber, and instantly use that bomber ability. If it's pointing into the base, it will bounce and get you brilliant damage. Look at the barbarians. Although you don't get many of them, they really do a lot of damage nowadays. Battle machine is locked on to by the expo, so let's use the pecker all around the base to clump in. Can we get that level 3 ability on the battle machine? Come on! Ah, uh, it went off automatically, but at least it does go off automatically. Now, let's keep an eye on the troops. It's pecker number 5 and 6, I believe, that should get to the crushers first. There we go, so number 5, then number 6. The purple bars above the troops and above the icons themselves does let you easily identify which troops have got abilities and which ones don't. We actually had every pecker survive there, and they will get healing, but our battle machine unavailable on this one since it went down. I can still use the battle copter, and what I sometimes like to do is use troops to enable something else to take advantage. So if I could take down the archer tower and firecrackers, I could attack the Ottawa's outpost from the left with my battle copter. Maybe I could use the giant and wizard trick I showed you up top, because we could chain to the lava launcher, maybe even the firecrackers if we're lucky. Now looking at the pecker here, let's use number five and six slightly round to the left, but I need to use one of them with the ability by the guard post troops. So let's go five, six, troop number two here and press the ability. Ah, I missed one of the barbarians, but not the end of the world. That has funneled them correctly. May as well send number six in there as well. And as long as we get those air targeting defenses down, we can then send the battle copter in effectively. Come on, Becca, do your thing. There we go, battle copter in. Now we just need to, hmm, that double cannon could be a problem. Let's go giant, wizard, swap to electric. Okay. Oh, if I had one of the power pecker abilities, we could have used that onto the zappies. But the chain of... Oh, we are actually chaining to the firecracker. That's amazing. And then it went the other way because of the Tesla. <laughs> I think we're good though, because if I can save onto the battle copter ability, again, don't just press it too early because you might then get in range of defenses. Once it turns and targets the firecrackers, we can use it and it will splash onto the lava launcher as well. Here we go. 
Nice. Oh, we got the cannon up top. The range of that ability is huge. And we can just let it now clean up the rest of this base. Best of luck with your attacks. I hope you enjoyed the new builder base. I think the team did a fantastic job on it. If you want a greater breakdown of the wizard and expo, the video is linked here. Enjoy the rest of your day.